Why is it that Abramovich is not allowed to own Chelsea yet? Of course, we've got the Saudi state that can own Newcastle. Uh, that's a million dollar question. Mm. That's one you'd have to ask the Premier League because they made their bed. They're the ones who got involved with politics. I've always said that politics and sport is inextricably linked, but sport doesn't help itself, particularly the Premier League. They're the ones who invite fraternisation with Black Lives Matter, with climate mm. change, with rainbow laces, with all manner of other political causes. You should try and keep it out of there, out of that sphere as much as you possibly can. But they're not doing that. And by doing that, you make your bed when the Saudi train comes over the hill and tries to buy Newcastle United and succeeds in doing so with their record on human rights, particularly against the LGBTQ plus community. It's the juxtaposition they're going to have to deal with now. And it's in the room and they played Chelsea today and it was crystallised on the pitch there. And everyone's talking about it. And there's mm. going to be decisions to be made in, fu in future. It's going to make them embarrassing. How can they go back there to St James's Park? with the Rainbow Laces campaign in the face of what's, going, what's gone on there and who their owners are, it's going to be very difficult for yeah, them. Yeah, it's, 